Okay, this is the preferred method of loading engines into Roxim version 9. The preferred method. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, and then you're going to go to Reload Engine Data, and then from here click on Download Engine Data. And let's say I want to load uh, Cesaroni, and it wants to be um, an F engine and 24 millimeters and we click on start search and it found three engines on the th the website thrustcurve.org and here are the three engines so I'm going to select them all with my cursor and then download selected engine data and it downloaded it and it's going to put it into the uh, data folder now this data folder is located in admin Application data, local, Apogee components, Roxim 9, data. That's where it's stored. And it's going to, here's the file name for it. And that's going to save, there's three engine data files, so it's going to do this three times. So click on save, there's one, there's two, there's three. And then we click, um, go to engine data files tab up here on the top. And here are the two engines, and it's already moved one over into here. Um, that's because I was playing around earlier. Uh, but here are the new two engine files, so I'll highlight them, click Add, Add, and now they're in there. And now when you go to uh, Prepare for Launch, click on Choose Engine, and make sure the manufacturer filter says blank, which is the top one here, and the type filter also blank and then you can scroll down and here are the three CTI motors um, sometimes it might say Cesaroni and that's why we change the manufacturer filter to blank because then it doesn't care what the manufacturer name is it'll just show everything so I always recommend turning these to blank and that's how you do it